Cheers everyone. In this video, what I wanted to talk about is a very special lens in my photography bag. Now, it's not a landscape specific lens. Let me just say that right off the bat. And it's more of like an artistic lens. And it's also the most frustrating lens that I've ever used in my entire life. But it's also the most rewarding lens I've used for landscape photography in my entire life. And what I'm talking about is the LensBaby 56 f 1.6 lens. Now, this video isn't sponsored. I'm not paid by LensBaby. I really just enjoy using this lens, kind of. I'll explain in just a second. But just to get through like some of the specs and some of the things to look for and what this lens actually does is it actually makes like an artistic velvet blend and creates like this soft ethereal look to a lot of the edges around your subjects and hard lines that you are photographing. And this can be used as kind of like a mid-range lens to a macro lens. It is a 56 1.6. It's their velvet lens again and it just creates that nice soft edge on a lot of the edges when you are as wide as you can go at f 1.6. Now with that being said, the smaller aperture you go, so let's say an eight to a 16, you're gonna have some pretty clean edges in the center of your frame, but closer to the edges, you're gonna get a softer vignette look on those edges too. So if you are looking for more of like an artsy look to landscapes or small scenes, this is a great lens to get. If you are looking for really crispy edges on your macro scenes, may not be the best lens for you. If you are just a classic landscape shooter and you're looking for a mid-range lens, definitely not the lens for you. Um, this is more of like, again, an artistic kind of lens. Has a great lens hood that just screws on and off uh, the front of the lens. This is the E-mount version for Sony's and I just really enjoy how the focus ring is right on the lens. Everything feels really sturdy. The aperture ring is right on it too. So everything is basically manual that you're doing with your aperture ring and your focus. So keep that in mind when you are getting this lens. Now, the reason that I say it's the most frustrating lens to use is because I did get this lens for those macro scenes. You see, I've been a really big fan of photographers like Sarah Marino, Ron Coscarosa, um, I know Alex Noriega has done a lot of this in recent years of having like more intimate design based natural patterns in the landscape. And I've always been a fan of that. I've never been great at it, but I wanted to try to get better at it this year. So I picked up this lens um, and it really does a great job of creating like dreamy ethereal looks again maybe not the crispiest edges, so maybe not the lens that I would go for all the time, but when I do get really small, nice, solid color subjects across the board or nice bokeh or, or background to a lot of my subjects, I do like to use this lens a lot. Now, again, very, very frustrating to use because when you are in 1.6, and since this does put a really ethereal, soft edge on your subjects, it can be extremely difficult to decide what in the frame is exactly the most sharp, what is not. Uh, you get soft edges, even in the most sharp areas. If you are at 1.6, again, the smaller aperture you go, the crispier those edges get. Um, so I'm constantly like moving back and forward, trying to get the focus exactly where I want it to be when I am using this lens. And since I am doing a lot of small scenes with it, the most frustrating part is if I'm doing like leaves or ferns, those are constantly shaking and dodging in and out of focus and bouncing around within the frame. And since I'm so close to those subjects with this lens, it can be a long, long process of just getting one shot out of like a two, three hour session of staring down at like the smallest minute detail in nature. Um, ferns, again, are great whenever I'm photographing with this, really creates those artsy looks to the landscape or the outdoor scene, whatever you're using this for. So I just kind of wanted to give my basic review on using this lens. I love the effect that it puts on nature and those intimate designs and those intimate scenes. 
However, that's definitely not the right route to go. So I probably use this lens maybe 10, 20% of the time that I even go out and photograph in the field. Sometimes, honestly, I get too lazy about even taking it out of my bag and photographing with it because I say, hey, I could probably get this small scene with a 70 to 200 or something like that. So not always in use, always in my bag because I just want to have it in my bag in case I see something that's really nice for that ethereal look. But overall, this lens is fun to use. Um, is it cheap enough for anybody to just pick up because they want to try this effect out? No, not really. But overall, I think if you have some more dollars to spend and you do want to try to get more artistic small scenes within your nature photography, I think this is a great one to look at. Again, Lens Baby Velvet 56 f1.6 great lens to use really fun to use really difficult to use but really rewarding to use